Hello guys, I'm going to teach you how to make a collection line so that way your customers are able to find your products much quicker. For example, this is my store, online store. If you go here, this is the main menu where my catalog is, men's catalog, women's catalog. So if I press on this right here, and these are all my different collections where everything is. Where it needs to be so a customer could go through and find something that they really need. Now, if you watch my previous video, I show you step by step how to make a subcategory. So, this is be the, the first layer of category, and then your, your basically your catalog, and, and then that way you can have a drop down where inside the men's catalog you have all the different options, which this would be considered a subcategory. But anyways, let's get started. So let me go to my Shopify store. So here's my uh, Shopify store. These are some of my products. So if you want to create a, a new collection line, uh, let's just go ahead and pick a couple of items. So these are items that you've already loaded, edited, and everything is all done. You go ahead and click on them and I know that I'm doing this on my phone, but it's exactly the same when you do it on your laptop or your PC. So once you cl click the items you want to put in your collection, you click on this action button and you add to tag. Now this is very important. You have to make sure whatever the name of this tag is, it has to be also your title. So for example, this one will put vintage vintage now one thing you could do to make sure that uh, you have the spelling and everything correct you could always uh, highlight it copy it just in case i don't know whether if you want to have a more complicated name whatever the case is so you go ahead and press save on that it will go ahead and save so we just added tag to those items now we're going to go back we're going to go to collections okay so this is our collection. This is my collection line when I showed you. So we want to create a new collection line. We go create a new collection line. Now this is the part that I was telling you that you have to make sure the name is, the spelling is correct. So your title, you're going to want the same title, vintage. And then over here, you could write description of your title. I don't know. Uh, great stuff. Uh, you know, talk about your collection a little bit now you could either manually select products or you could automatically select products based on condition now you always want to put all conditions from this point on uh, what you're going to do is you're going to it says product title you're going to go ahead and product tag we just created a tag so let's just say you pick out four or five items and you want to create a special tag for those items so you go ahead and press product tag and then over here again that name has to be precise exactly what you put so we put vintage and then from there on you press save we're saving the collection collection has been saved now if you go down the items that we picked out here they are. So I picked a couple of items. They're there. And basically from this point on, you go to collections. And again, if you follow my step to step, uh, you could take that collection and you could create a subcategory with the collection. And in my other video, I show you how to do that. Now, there's a second way you could do this. So let's just go back. To all my products we'll pick out a couple more products we'll go to action add tag so this one we'll name it vintage 2 again we will copy that okay we copy that it's gonna Sometimes it'll ask you to click on save twice, so don't worry. Just click on it twice, it's okay. 
Now we're going to go back to our collections. We're going to create the collection. The title name, exactly the same, Vintage 2. Write a little description of your catalog, or your, I'm sorry, your collection. I will just put best product, whatever you like. Again, the condition is always, you know, all conditions. And what you could do here is we'll go ahead and put product tag. So these are the items that you've already picked out. And one great way you could do is basically if you ever add if you ever add any new items to your store and they have a special name uh, they ha you, you created a special name for those products so uh, what you could do is you could actually uh, for example let's say this is vintage 2 so anytime you put this wording when you put this wording into your into your uh, description of the product that you put so you don't have to do this step anymore so basically from from Obillo when you find a product you're changing it around in the title you put somewhere there vintage 2 it will automatically get added to your collection for the fact that you put vintage 2 in there and right here you're gonna click on contains so that way whenever that word comes up in your title vintage 2 it will be added to your vintage 2 collection line and it'll automatically go online and you don't have to do anything else now if you want to pick a picture upload a picture for your collection you can I usually don't but again you can if you want to create your own special picture for your line it's up to you just go ahead and click image upload image and click uh, create the image for yourself so there you go it creates a special URL sportswear for life collections vintage 2 so you press save and go back to collections there's vintage 1 and vintage 2 so if you have any questions please ask me and I will try to do my best to help you out. Thank you for watching.